This is a demonstration of checking the clutch pack clearance of a clutch pack of just about any automatic transmission or transaxle. Uh, although this procedure is generic as far as it'll work for most transaxles and transmissions, the clutch pack that we're checking today is a direct clutch pack from a Toyota A245E uh, automatic transaxle like you would find in a 2000 mid-2000s um, Toyota Corolla. Uh, we have a dial indicator uh, set up on the backing plate of the clutch pack. Um, we have uh, compressed air we're going to hit uh, to the apply passage uh, that's going to push on the bottom of the clutch piston and push against the return springs and compress the clutch plate. You'll notice as we do this that the dial indicator travel uh, will change based on the amount of air pressure uh, applied. Um, the maximum uh, travel allowed is 35 thousandths of an inch. I think the minimum travel is 19 thousandths on this particular um, clutch pack. So let's hit the uh, air to the clutch uh, piston. It's going to make a lot of noise, so bear with me, but watch the dial indicator. So we went up to about 28 thousandths. Notice if I just apply a little bit of pressure, it's in the low 20s. But as I hit more pressure to it, we got up to about 28 and a half uh, thousandths of an inch. Um, and that's uh, clutch pack clearance so that when the clutch pack is released the fiber plates can spin freely of the steel plates. Uh, if the clutch pack clearance is too tight then the clutches can rub and overheat uh, and drag and, and cause abnormal transmission operation. If the clutch pack clearance is too wide uh, it can cause a delayed shift or even, even uh, in complete uh, apply of the clutch plates uh, since the piston travel is limited on the uh, clutch pack itself.